This is the activities that we're doing, <coughs> new prescriptions, refilling prescriptions, x-rays, and lab tests. We did it all. We did three studies. The farther you were away from the clinic, the more likely you were to uh, use this facility. Uh, if you looked at it, we weren't churning. People who did things online were just like people who went to express care or office visits. They didn't come in any more often afterwards. And the patients generally reflected our population. The, the people that were doing online were just like the people that were coming into our office. Pictures were great. Uh, we two percent of the total towards the end. It was actually up to four to five percent. The most common rash sent in was by mom's diaper rash. Um, bites and contact dermatitis were also on the list. We were surprised prescription refills. Even though we have a system for doing prescription refills that didn't involve questions, prescription refills was actually fairly common. It was unexpected. Ideas for the future? Well, right before we were going to. Uh, when they put the pause on us, uh, we uh, had it all set up to set up a messaging system. Now imagine if you could, what would happen? On your birthday, you would receive an email from your doctor saying, happy birthday. And as part of your birthday, we'd like you to go online and do the term prevention. And we'll just check and make sure everything's okay. So have a great birthday, and I want to take responsibility for you living so long. Okay. Then what would happen is, they would do this, and then we could have a nurse look at this, and then send them back a message with the test that they were doing. So when you turn 50, you get a note from your doctor saying, well, thanks for filling that out, and by the way, we scheduled you for a colonoscopy. It's a cool way of doing things, isn't it? Another thing that we did was working on, and we saw that some of it during the last year was the pit stop. Imagine, if you will, with chronic disease patients. A diabetic goes to the lab, gives their lab work, goes online, types in diabetes. The clinician looks at the diabetes history and the labs, and then makes a decision what needs to be done. Hemoglobin A1C is 6.7. LDL is 74. History looks great. Patient's last exam was six months ago. Heck, we'll let him come back in six months for another general exam. Hemoglobin A1C was 9.4. LDL was 170. Hmm. I've tried a whole bunch of things. Maybe that goes to a case manager and an endocrinologist. But you know, you can use it as triage or just have the patient come in. But you, what it does is it allows you to get the people that are sick with chronic disease that are controlled from coming in and bothering you. And you can deal with the people that are really ill and needing your help. As you move down the path of getting reimbursement for performance, this is going to be critical. You will find that most of your costs when you deal with case managers has to deal with people that they call up and they're fine. And if any time a case manager is talking to somebody who's fine, it's a waste of money. You want your case managers to work with people who are having a problem. Um, we linked with that registry so that we could tell whether they needed prevention. Here's an example of how it performed. Um, a patient refilled a midrin prescription. As a part of that, the doctor found out they did, needed a colonoscopy. They found a resectable colon cancer. They found a colon cancer on a prescription refill from midrin. Okay. Um, so where are we now? Uh, we just closed our pilot. That's why I wasn't able to give a, a cool demo of all the things that we're doing uh, last week. Um, our new portal is opening up on March 19th. We're going to roll it out to 350 doctors, so it's more than just the Department of Family Medicine, it's everybody to do employee health. Having done that, then they roll it out to all our specialists. It's been a bumpy road. Um, they've had troubles with delays, conflicts with the vendor and mail. We actually probably know more about what's going on than they do because of our experience. Okay. Um, as we go along, I'm not going to use movies because I'm not sure how well they are. How do we change our population so that we will be able to do this? This requires a cultural change. When you first started Epic, you realized that whenever you saw paper, you were inefficient. You eventually got rid of your paper charts. The way you need to look at it now is every time you use the phone, when your patients are using the phone, that's inefficient. You want to go digital. So how can we do that? Can you just come over here for a second? Whatever. You'll all come up here eventually. So this is how we might do it. So you're going to be a patient. Okay, your name is Juan? Juan. Okay. Juan, you've been working so hard as a doctor. 
but you've developed high blood pressure. I know that's hard. Well, I'm going to tell you we've got two ways of handling this, okay? And I'm going to give you the two explanations so that you'll know which way you want to do it. One, you can come in and see me, your kind, caring, family physician, every two weeks, and I'll check your blood pressure. I'll check your lab works. We'll give you medicines. And in three months, we're going to get that blood pressure under control. So you can come in every two weeks and see me, or you can go online. We'll, check, we'll teach you how to check your blood pressure. And then you're going to send those readings to me every two weeks. And I'll look at those readings, and I'll order up your lab work so that it's done on Saturday, so you don't have to come in for this work for that. And we're going to charge you 35 bucks every time you do that. Now, which do you want to do? Do you want to come and see me, your kind, caring physician, or do you want to go online every two weeks? <laughs> All right, definitely go online, yeah? OK, so that's the way how you can do it. Now, that's a way of changing the culture, presenting it to the patient, and letting the patient choose. And you know what? Everybody who's working will choose that method. Um, a second way of doing it is that you need to um, um, show like your 